In this segment, I'll be demonstrating how to use a pH meter. A pH meter reads the pH of a solution, the pH being the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration in that solution. Our pH meters are shown here and the, is shown here, and the way that you use it is simply to open it up, and there is a power button, and you turn it on. Now attached to this, pH meter is a pH probe, and the pH probe has on a green cap. Before you use the pH meter, you do need to remove that cap. Now there are a couple of things that you should know before you begin. One is that if you look inside the cap, there's a little sponge, and that sponge, when you are all done using the pH meter, needs to be saturated with the pH 4 solution. The second thing that I want you to see is the pH meter, excuse me, the pH probe itself. If you look inside, you'll see a little glass bulb, and this little glass bulb is actually what does the sampling of the solution. The bulb is very fragile. It can break easily, so please be aware that even though there it appears to be uh, the probe appears to be made of plastic, that the sheath only partially covers the bulb and that the bulb can break if not treated properly. Now in order to read the pH of a solution, the first thing that you would do is simply rinse off the probe with deionized water. You do not dry off the probe. You can simply give it a little shake and then insert the probe into the solution that you want to read the pH of. Now sometimes it takes a little while for the pH to settle. Um, sometimes jiggling it back and forth accelerates this. Note that I'm not stirring. Never stir a solution with the probe because that can result in breaking the bulb. If you need to stir a solution, please use a, 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 a stirring uh, rod. Okay, so this is settling at a pH of about 8.01. That last digit often does fluctuate slightly. So um, it, now it's at 8.02, but it is within plus or minus um, 0 0.05. Now when you, are, uh, when you are reading the pH of a solution, sometimes you are asked to change the pH of that solution. In order to do that, you need to add drops of acid or base. Whenever you are working with acids or bases in this lab, please use safety goggles to protect your eyes from these caustic chemicals. Now the acids and bases you'll be using in this lab uh, for the purpose of changing the pH of the solution are going to be HCl and NaOH. So I'm going to show you two concentrations. These are the lower concentrations of the acid and base. This is 0.1 molar HCl and 0.1 molar NaOH. And also, if you want to do a more rapid change of the pH of the solution, the more concentrated forms are 1 molar HCl, uh, which is the acid, and 1 molar NaOH, which is the base. So if you need to change the pH of the solution, you just add these drop by drop, stir with a stirring rod, not the pH probe, and uh, um, watch the pH meter until it has a change to the desired pH. Once you are all done using a pH meter, you simply take out the probe. You do need to rinse it off. And I'm doing all the rinsing into a waste beaker. Okay. Um, you would then take the cap and add a drop or two of pH4 buffer right into the cap and let it soak into that sponge. You would close the cap, turn off the pH meter, and close it.